Connect Plus Primary for Students Book, Unit 3, Part 1. Unit 3, My World. In this unit, I will understand what makes a community, understand and use possessive forms, learn about the history of Egypt, form and use regular and irregular past simple verbs, read about the governorates of Lower and Upper Egypt, read about the development of farming, Learn about Egyptian folk music. Make a tourist information guide. Look and discuss. Number one, what different types of buildings can you see? Number two, what words can you use to describe this picture? Did you know that Egypt is one of the oldest civilizations on earth? It became powerful over 5,000 years ago. Find out. Who was the first pharaoh to bring Upper and Lower Egypt together? Lesson 1, Unit 3 Exercise 1, Read, Think and Say What do you think a community is? Is it who you live with? Where you live? The things you can do? The things you think and believe? So this is a discussion section and you have to discuss this with your friends. Exercise 2. Listen and read. My community. A community is a group of people who live and work together in the same area. A community is more than your house, family or your neighborhood. It is a mixture of people, places activities and ideas my community includes my family my friends and my school there are properly important places in your city or village that you often visit you can also have a community there for me I am part of the community at my sports club too when you act in a way that is good for your community, this is good citizenship. This means that you work hard to help other people and behave in a kind and fair way. Good citizenship is a good part of being in a community. I'm always polite and helpful at school and at my sports club. So, after you read this, read again. And match. 1. Community is what? A community is a group of people who live and work together in the same area. So this answers most of these questions. Who you live with? I live with my family. Where you live? I live in a village or in a city. The things you can do and the things you think and believe. It's all in your community and the citizenship is being a good citizen. Let's match the words. What is community? Which definition? It's B, a group of people who live together in the same area and share activities and ideas. This is community. Two, what is a neighborhood? C, the streets, houses, shops, schools close to where you live. What is citizenship? A. Behaving in a way that helps your society. Page 37, exercise 4, read again. Circle the things that you think are part of your community, like family, food, sports, music, school, games. Page 37, exercise 5. Listen and number. One. In my community, we look after the environment where we live. We try to be good citizens. We keep it clean, so it's a nice place to live. Two. I go to a school close to my house. It's in my neighborhood. My friends go there, too. And we enjoy our lessons. Three. 
My family often has big meals together. We see our grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. It's fun, and we have lots of delicious food. Exercise 6. Read and circle. 1. This is my neighborhood. It's mine. 2. This is our school. It's ours. 3. This is my cousin's house. It's theirs. 4. Those are Russia's books. They are hers. 5. That is your bike. It's yours. 6. These are Adam's shoes. They are his. Exercise 7. Think and write what is special about your community. You can write anything you want about your community. I wrote simple sentences. My community is special because I have a garden beside my building. I love go walking in my street. There are some shops beside my home. There is a school too. I love my neighborhood. You can write anything else you want, like you have uh, the sea beside you or the river Nile or whatever you want to write or some fields. So you can change this writing according to your community. Page 38, Lesson 2, The History of Egypt. Exercise 1, read about the history of Egypt. What are the three main parts of the history of ancient Egypt? Egypt is a country with a very long and interesting history. People started to live near the Nile about 9,000 years ago, in 7,000 BCE. At first, there were two separate areas. Lower Egypt was in the north, where the Nile joins the sea. Upper Egypt was in the south, where the Nile flows through the deserts of Africa. In about 3200 BCE, one pharaoh, Mina, joined these two parts to unite the country of Egypt. Egypt controlled the Nile as far as boats could sail on it, so it became very powerful. There are three main parts to the history of ancient Egypt. The Old Kingdom, the Middle Kingdom, the New Kingdom. Important dynasties controlled Egypt for many years. These were important families who ruled the country. So the dynasties are the 30 families of the pharaohs who ruled Egypt for years and years. Now let's go back to the question. What are the three main parts of the history of ancient Egypt? The Old Kingdom, the Middle Kingdom, and the New Kingdom. Exercise 2, read again and answer. 1. When did people start to live near the Nile? About 9,000 years ago in 7,000 BCE. 2. Where was Lower Egypt? Lower Egypt was in the north. 3. Why was Egypt powerful when it united? Because Egypt controlled the Nile as far as boats could sail on it. 4. Who was the pharaoh who united the two parts of Egypt, it was Mina. Exercise 3, ask and answer, what did you learn? Where was Upper Egypt? It was in the south. Did you know the Pyramid of Djoser is the oldest pyramid in the world? People started building it in about 2648, 2627 BC in the past. Djoser is uh, Zoser in Arabic. Page 39, exercise 4. Find and write the past simple form of these verbs in the text on page 38. Then write R regular or I if it's irregular. Regular form that ends with ED and irregular which is not following the rule of ED. 1. Start. Started which is regular. 2. Join, joined, regular. 3. Control, controlled, regular. 4. Become, became, irregular. 5. Rule, ruled, regular. 
6 are were irregular 7 is was irregular exercise 5 choose three past simple verbs from exercise 4 write sentences using these verbs 1 i was in primary 3 last year 2 i started my lesson an hour ago 3 pharaohs ruled egypt in the past Exercise 6. Read and complete the text with the verbs in brackets. How do we know so much about the history of Egypt? Egyptians at that time used, alternate into past tense will be used, scribes to write down everything that happened. Scribes were very important people. They worked for the ruling dynasties. They wrote in hieroglyphs which are pictures or symbols that can mean one word or many ideas. We can see these hieroglyphs today in tombs and museums. Children learned to become a scribe at school. Scribes wrote on stone or on a paper made from papyri reeds. Did you know there are over 700 hieroglyphic symbols? Page 40, Lesson 3, The Governorates of Egypt. The Governorates of Egypt, there are 27 governorates in Egypt today. Look at the map. Where do you live? Exercise 2. Listen and choose A, B, or C. A governorate usually has areas of city and areas of countryside. Some governorates are large cities, such as Cairo and Alexandria. However, Cairo has the biggest number of people, with nearly 10 million. The biggest governorate is New Valley. It's over 440,000 square kilometers. The smallest is Damietta which is 910 square kilometers. So number one, what is in a governorate? The answer is C, large cities or cities and countryside. Number two, how many people live in Cairo governorate? 10 million. Three, which governorate is the biggest? New Valley. Four, how big is Domyata governorate? B, 910 square kilometers. Find out how big is your governorate and how many people live in it. Page 41, exercise 3, work with a partner. Look at the map on page 40 and ask an answer. 1. Which governorates are next to the sea? Matruh, Alexandria, Behira, Kafr al-Sheikh, Daqa'aliya, Domyata, Por Said, Sharqiyya, Ismailiya, North Sinai, South Sinai, Suez, and Red Sea. All of these governorates are next to the sea. 2. Which governorates are next to another country? Matruah, New Valley, North Sinai, and Red Sea. Exercise 3. What are three governorates in Lower Egypt? We have a lot of governorates in Lower Egypt, but he wants you to write only three. So, Alexandria, Porsaid, and Cairo are in Lower Egypt. 4. What are three governorates in Upper Egypt? Again, choose any three governorates you want. I choose Fayyum, Luxor, and Aswan are in Upper Egypt. Now, exercise 4. Listen, read, and find these places on the map. I am Ferris, and I live in the Red Sea Governorate. It has a beach which is over 1,000 kilometers. It's a very popular place to visit for scuba diving and water sports. I am Nadia, and I live in Aswan Governorate. It's the farthest south in Upper Egypt. Its capital is Aswan. In 1970, engineers finished the Aswan High Dam. I am Ibrahim, and I live in Alexandria Governorate. It's important because lots of ships sail in and out of the port. The city of Alexandria used to be the capital city of Egypt. So Ferris is from Red Sea Governorate. Nadia is from Aswan Governorate. 
and Ibrahim is from Alexander Governorate. Try to find these places on the map. Exercise 5. Look at the map on page 40 and choose a governorate and find out how big it is, how many people live there, what the biggest city is, what natural features it has. So you can write about your own governorate or choose any governorate that you like and write about it and answer these questions. You will write a small paragraph about it. Thank you for listening and don't forget to follow part 2 of the same unit. See you soon. Bye.